I will totally string some bunt in, don't you worry. We'll get to it in just a moment. Gotta string the bunt in. That'll be right after I finish the sister's bedroom, though. The unfortunate part here, though, is that... I don't have any more of those blocks to put down. Maybe this will work though. Uh, yeah, actually it does. Marvelous. Uh, right, I need two types of new blocks. I would like four of these. Well. I made four of something that was making stacks of five. That was that that was very silly and is one hundred percent on me. Oh really? That's all it does is make grilled greens? Oh. Is ratchet? Oh well. Or it doesn't make like a higher tier grilled greens. Great grilled greens. Oh yes, that's very much a higher tier grilled greens. That's very, very much a higher tier. Uh, right. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Falroth, would you help me gather wood? Yes, I can kill you only one go. You, however, get a bite. We don't need to fight you, so I'm not going to. All I need to do is make sure that uh, her bedroom is not just full of water because I didn't seal the roof off. Uh, the people who are bathing, though, well, you're just out of luck. That is your fate, I'm afraid. Actually, grab one of these as well. And... Pop those down there. Uh, I won't pop one on that side. I don't think I need it. It should be fine. I feel that that one does need to be floorboards. Okay. Right, so, my plan. It just goes into a block, though. I wonder. What is the other type of roof that I've got? I've got a funny feeling this might be quite what I want. Oh no, it goes on the floor. Oh, right, then. Not what I want, then. Shame, but oh well. these. There we go. Almost done with this house, though. Oh, really? I busted the house, though? Why? Why did that happen? Oh, getting a lot of attacks, though. They may sense their impending doom. Oh, poop! I fell through again! Uh, 
That's much better. Now, do these create uh, different shapes, I wonder? It doesn't have a locked texture. So I'm going to guess they don't, which is a massive shame. 44 wooden windows in there. Well, I guess we're going to be using a lot of them then. No reason not to at this point. Damn it. Not quite what I meant to do. And yes, this space has nothing up it. But it'll let it'll let light through in the morning. Actually, you know what? I can totally add a stick. She's got an attic! Ah, oh, fantastic. Not only have you got a bedroom, you've got an attic in your bedroom. Happy as the days. Okay, so. Now then, let's have a look at what we can do here. Well, actually, let's first go down and then draw the ladder up. Okay, can I make that go up at all? Looks like. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. What isn't perfect, however, is probably getting this down. So let's hoist you up, we'll take you around, place you back down. There we go. It's going to be most vexing, isn't it? It's not the worst thing in the world, but it would have been better from this angle. Damn it. Falling all over the place. I'm just not used to using that particular ability. <laughs> really, game? Why would you do this to me? Oh. You go there, and I build a ladder up. Or actually, I'll just take that down. Right, there we go. That works also. Oh, that was the right way. Ah, my lord. Oh my god, again? Really? This game, it is trolling me so hard right now. Is that such a bad angle, though? No, not really. The dear lord, is it annoying. Okay, okay, I've got it. I've got it. I worked it out. The secret key is mine. It's fine. I mean, the side ones, they're going to be much harder. But so now, it's fine. I wonder if Zan knows. No Scooby was going on, but... Ah, poop. On the plus side. I guess I can do that for now. And I can fix them in a moment. Worst roof ever. Literally ashamed of myself for that roof. What? Why would you do this to me? Legit, why? Just trying to make it a nice roof. 
It feels like a puzzle. What? Apparently I can't change tools right now. The worst thing, you know, is that I'm not even sure I like it, like it now that I've got it. That is genuinely the worst part of this. All the effort to make that happen, I'm not even sure I'm going to keep it. Actually, that is a lie. I'm definitely going to keep it after all that effort. But, not sure it's good. Really not. Oh well. Still, she has a nice roof now. There we go. Right, so, what's up next? Uh, bunting. I want to drop these off, these off. Why is that in there? I have no idea. Also, why the sugar cane seeds? I... what? I must have put it in there or something. That was very dumb of me. But yeah, I think it's safe to say I'm never going to use that particular type of roof again. That was awful. Right, let's go and ring the bell. Get some... Oh. Bonk. 84. That's good. And then... One of the last things I need to do is get some bunting around the place. And one of those places is going to be right there. Right, okay. Let's get bunting. Wait, can't, can't I? Okay, that, that'll work, I suppose. I mean, I guess I can... No, 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 no. What I can do... Yes! Oh, we... Really? It literally said, put bunting up around the town. Why these... You are just trying to make me frustrate now. I'm on to you, you scallywag. Fine, you win. You put it on. Oh, what? I swear. <laughs> My lord. Uh, also, the bunting will burn if I put it there, so that's not. I'm going to have to, actually. One more somewhere. See, look, 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 look. It worked. Ah, oh, that that one worked. All is forgiven, game. There we go. Perfect. Ouch! Really, that's my reward. A little scallywag, you. Uh, ooh, that's a good idea. Build a line across the bunting station and then remove the bunting. Uh, the, the line. Yeah, yeah, that could definitely work. Where have we gone? I must speak with you. Oh my, thank you, Havoc. With all of the beautiful bunting everywhere, it feels like the Harvest Festival is here already. Just picture everyone celebrating amongst these dazzling decorations fills me with so much joy. I can hardly wait. I know I ought to have asked you this already, but how did you come to Furrowfield in the first place, Ava? Goodness, you and Marloth, uh, Malroth sailed here on a ship? But, but the children of Harkon strictly forbid humans from sailing. The very act of travelling from one island to another is the highest heresy. Still, I must say I'm rather jealous. I've always wanted to go for a ride on a boat. I hear there's a great glittering city called Moonbrook on an island far to the east of here. I've always dreamed of going to visit. 
But they say if the children of Hargon ever catch someone sailing the seas, they lock them up and throw away the key. You know how much they hate builders. I should have think what they'd do to you. Be very wary, Ava. There we are. I know what isn't heresy here, yeah. Butterfield Farm is finally finished, Avak, and the deer tree is bigger than ever. We can finally hold a harvest festival. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It's all, if it's alright with you... Uh, sorry, it's alright with you if we start right away, isn't it? I mean, it's night time, but sure. It's been a long road, but we've, we've finally made it. And it's all thanks to you, Avak. Without your help, we never would have been able to grow the deer tree as big and strong as it is. Thank you so much. And the island's only going to get greener from here. Just thinking how bright and beautiful it is. It makes me so happy I could cry. I was thinking, Eva, once all of our work here is all finished and Furrowfield is back on track, do you think I could go back to your island with you? <laughs> I'd always dreamt of rebuilding the farm, and now that I have, I know I can't stop now. I want to spread life and light to every corner of the world. But there'll be a time for all that later. Right now we've got a party to hold. Everyone, it's time for the Harvest Festival! The people of Furrowfield take their hoes in hand and gather around the deer tree to begin the long-awaited celebration. Oh, what? Oh, my god. Okay. Well... Um, Malroth is even getting involved. Only person here who isn't involved is Wiggly and Pastral. Oh, see. What do you think, Avak? Isn't it the best harvest vessel ever? I'm having so much fun. These pumpkin masks are absolutely hilarious and also terrifying. And there's a deeper meaning to them, too, apparently. They help you to become a better farmer by letting you exp uh, experience things from the vegetable's perspective. Anyway, it's nearly time for the main event. We're all going to gather around the crops we've been growing after all. Uh, gather all the crops we've been growing. After all, it wouldn't be a harvest festival without a harvest. And I expect you to join in too. We'll pick all the crops that are growing around the scarecrows, but if you've planted anything anywhere else, or if we miss anything, I'm counting on you to collect it. So let's get to it, everyone. It's harvest time. Okay. Hey, Malroth. You good? Should we just wait? Mm, maybe. Hello. Hmm. I trust you're enjoying the festivities, Avak. After all of your hard work, you've earned a chance to relax and let off some steam. The mask suits you, by the way. I would have liked to wear one myself, truth be told, but we couldn't find a pumpkin the right size. Avak. Malroth told me I should cease acting as a mere overseer and join you in building work. Watching you and Rosie working together, seeing the things you've built, a thought began to form in my mind. A dream is a wonderful thing to have, and there is little in this world more beautiful than to see one's dreams become reality. And so, I've asked. I asked to join you. I want to be a builder. I want to go back to your island with you and build to my heart's content. But in order to do so, I must first speak with the children of Hargon, and I will need to enlist your aid once again. You can join me, of course you can. It's you. Hello again. You remember me. We met at the church. I heard the singing and shouting and just had to check for myself. You're holding a harvest festival, aren't you? Beautiful. Please let me join your festival. No, wait. Let me join your farm. There might be times when the villagers can't see me, but I'll still be here looking out for them. I'll scare off any monsters who try to attack with a spine-tingling Thank you for letting me stay, Avak. Now let's enjoy the festival. Ooh the ghost joins Avak's team. Alright. So, will you stop monsters from drumming up? Because that would be rather awesome, I must say. I'd be very pleased with it, actually. This. Hello. Who are me, Anson? Just look at all these lovely fields you've made. 
You should be blimmin' proud of yourself. And it's not just these fields we have to thank you for. We can grow grass and trees too. For a wiggly like me, it's a dream come true. Feels just like old furrow field is bursting up out of the ground. If only we had some flowers. Then it really would be just like the old days. But there'll be time to think about that later, won't there? Me handsome. For now, let's just be happy and see Deatrice standing tall again. That is fair. I will go ahead and harvest these. After this. Also grab that one. Okay, there we go. That's all those ones grab. Uh, except for those ones. That's all those ones except for the ones that I haven't got. Right, okay, let's grab all of this. Right. What do you want me to do? Because you have something to say to me. Or are expecting me to say something to you. Hooray! We finished collecting all the crop. Are you sure? Oh yeah, you have. Um, the Harvest Festival is a resounding success. And now we've done everything we need to do. What do you say, Avak? Shall we officially bring things to a close? Uh, no. Understood. Once you've had your fill of the celebration, just let me know and we can wrap this party up. Okay. I'm going to drop these off. Donk. And donk. Will they now harvest automatically? Because that would be amazing. If they can harvest their own fields, gather the food, put it in the kitchen, and then take the food from the kitchen to the dining room. Oh my goodness, this is going to be grand. Truly grand. Also, my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yes, please. I will take all of these. And drop this off. 44 cabbages, 31 pumpkins, and 14 kelp. <laughs> you know, just because kelp. Alright, I think that's good enough. Right, okay. Yes, let's call it, uh, call it a day there. And harvest the souls from the village. What? No! Look at Ma uh, Malroth over there. So happy. Okay, let's ask uh, Bonanzo to put the beautiful voice of his to good use for the closing ceremony. Bonanzo! 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 <laughs> the people of Furrowfield sing and dance around the deity, celebrating the powers of creation that they have brought, uh, that have brought them so much happiness. Bonanzo steps forth and entrances everybody with a song of unparalleled beauty that echoes across the island and into the night. But amid the sea of smiling faces, a barely perceptible cloud of concern sits upon Pastor Al's brow. Oh dear. Then, morning cut. Alakazam! <gasps> Pastor Alakazam! How dare you! Okay, so he's not Pastor Al, he's Pastor Alakazam. Okay. Ah! What's that? A tree? Field? You've been building, haven't you? Oh, actually, haven't you? Who? Who? I guess. M m my lord, please, if you would just allow me to explain. Wahaha, I think not. But, uh, sorry, but, tell me, Alakazam, what do we do? Uh, what do we of the children of Hargon value ooh, ooh, above all else? Destruction, my lord. Destruction alone can save us. All must be destroyed. Wahaha! Yes, then your duty is clear. You must destroy this farm and everything in it. Is he going to be able to do it? I... I cannot. ha ha! Is that so? Then be gone! My lord! 
curse this sudden but inevitable betrayal. Papa Passerelle. Gwa ha ha ha. It seems if you want something done, you must do ooh, ooh, it yourself. What? <gasps> no, the deer tree. Well, you stand. In the name of High Priest Hargon, all shall be destroyed. Wah, ah, 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 ah. Were you not warned, foolish humans? Builders spread desolation and despair wherever they roam. Go forth, my minions, crush these pathetic humans in the name of Almighty Argon. How rude! Super rude! Yeah, 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 yeah! Come on, boys, let's smash some skulls! How am I all the way back here? Oh, no. Also, pop. Also, also, also. Also, 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 also. Give me just a moment. Yoink. My dear tree, you scoundrel. Looks like the children of Hagen have us surrounded, Avak. We've got no choice but to fight them. Are they actually all around us? Avak, don't you mean roo oo oo No, no, I don't. Uh, so you ready to take them down? Yes. Let's go. I've never felt this feeling before, Avak. What they did to Al. What they did to the Deatry. I won't let them get away with this. I'm going to destroy... Oh, wait. Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Ma maybe I shouldn't destroy things. Hmm. Uh, I feel this may, may awaken the wrong thing in him. I'll destroy the lot of them. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it. I knew it. I saw it. The battle commence. Come on. No. Ha ha! Right, I'm going to try and take out the uh, imps if I can. Just get away, rid of the artillery. Yeah. Well done, my rock. It's one down. It means the kills are happening here and there. Not very often. Okay, leave him there to die. Right, what's up next? <gasps> That's not good. Bloody Parkins. You really tingle this will. Ow. I guess that is correct. Yeah, I am I'm all all a tingle. Otherwise known as bloody electrocuted. Fine. Should be able to handle it. Oh my lord. Come on. Insta kills. Many insta Oh, many insta kills required. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. Ah, uh, oh. Good. good luck, everyone. You got this? You got this. Oh, okay. Jellyfish. Just, you know, because why not? Why not, jellyfish? Oh, insta kill there. Good. It is crazy that that can actually happen to the uh, powerful mobs. It is absolutely bonkers. Come on, then. It's a bit mad that you can face tank mostly everything. I mean, you know, at my point, yeah. Then I have got really good armor. And I had to face tank a boss that <laughs> raffle stomped me to get it, so did die to it. Still, I am basically face tanking things. Monsters are defeated! Woohoo! But the D tree is gone. Uh oh. <laughs> they didn't last long. It was hardly even a fight. A fair fight. Well, yeah. But I don't get it. I just took out a small army of children of hog on scumbags, but I still feel funny. Oh! However, we should check on Pastor Al. That is quite true. It seems this is it for me. No, please, Pastor. Pastor Al, don't leave us. Don't worry, young Rosie. 
This is not the end. Not yet. The Dee Tree may have been destroyed, but the hope that it brought you all still remains. Malroth, you asked me once where the Dee Tree originally came from. Whether it simply sprouted out of the ground, or if it was made by some other means. The first Dee Tree did not grow. It was built by the builder who came to this island long ago. What? Actually, yeah, also what? Avak, young builder, I want you to have this. <gasps> Before Passeral becomes a deity. No, apparently not. Important item acquired. Saw the skies and discovered new secrets. Marvelous. With that, that wind, uh, sorry, with that windbreaker, you can take to the skies. You may need it if you are to build another deity from the ground up. You, you want us to build another deity? But we can't do that all on our own. We need you, Pastor Al. Don't leave us. Rosie, my dear apprentice, I have taught you all I know. Now it falls to you to aid Avak. I know you can do this. But I... I... Uh-oh. <laughs> Twitch just went down for everyone. I will hang tight for a second until people get back. Uh, I'll also type to them to let them know. Uh, bomb. There we are. But I, I. Was this not your dream to bring back the deer tree to rebuild Furrow Field Farm? Do not give up. Uh, sorry. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not seek excuses. Seek only a way forward. Avak, look after Rosie for me. Look after everyone. Also, you genuinely look awesome standing on the pumpkin. It may have only been for one night, but I'm happy I was able to become a builder. Pastor out! No! The pastor was a great leader to us all. If only I could hope to become as bold and inspiring a figure as he was. Also, please vote for me for mayor. We should never have built nothing. If we hadn't planted the deer tree, none of this would have happened. Let's go, Avak. I'm going to clobber that brainy baboon so hard his own mother wouldn't recognize him. I'm going to get revenge for Pastor Al. Malroth, wait. Pastor Al told us to rebuild the deer tree. He said to build a new one from scratch. I know, but... Uh, Dragon Mickey, this is currently in single player, but the game does have multiplayer. There's somewhere I want you two to go. All right then. Uh, all right then, Rosie. Where do you want us to go? Huh. Pastor Al once told me that the old deer tree wasn't completely destroyed. It may have withered and died, but it rem its remains are still around here somewhere. If you were to find it, you might be able to find some clue about how to build a new one. All right then. Let's give it a shot. It's not like we have any other choice. I know you can do it, Avak. If the builder who came here long ago could build a deer tree, then you can too. Sowing the seeds of success, part three. If we want a new deer tree, we're going to have to build it ourselves. Once we do, we can restore life and light to the whole island. The only problem is, how are we going to find this tree if none of us knows where it is? Well, we both know where it is. I'm not sure, but something tells me the windbreaker pastor I'll give you will help you get there. We're going to need some more information than that. Where exactly are we supposed to use it? You are. You're not talking about what I think you're talking about, are you? If you're looking for the old deer tree, I've got an idea where you should start your search. Uh, 
Uh, press X when you're in midair to deploy the windbreaker, and you'll glide around like a bird on the wind. <laughs> Does Malroth hang out to my feet? If so, that's amazing. <laughs> oh. Running from the children of Argon took me from one end of this island to the other, and everywhere in between. I think I've caught a glimpse of the old deer tree on my travels. It wasn't actually on the island, though. It was on a little island just off the coast. Too far to swim, mind you. So wingless wonders like us can't get there. <laughs> ah, but if you use the windbreaker, you can just fly over there. You've been to Furrowfield Bog, ain't you, Avak? And he met the orc in the old tomato farm, didn't he? If he warped to that farm, then head east out into the rainforest, you'll see a path up to the north that leads to the top of a rocky dead, uh, headland. You should be able to spot an island as the deer trees on from there and fly over with the windbreaker of yours. Off you go then, you two. Fly to that little island, find the old deer tree, and find out how we build a new one. A new destination has been added to your map. But before we go there, we're gonna go to the other ones. Uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna find them though. Was it over there? No. The dock? No. Fat Rat Rise? I mean, there's a lot of stuff over in Fat Rat Rise. Uh, but what I want is down here. Yep. Okay. Whoop me there. Whoop. Right, what we want to do is to get up on top. Okay, can. High up as we can so that we can use this uh, glider. Oh. oh, damn it. Ah, damn it. All the way back down. A lot easier if I just turned the camera, wouldn't it? Uh. Yep. Right, we may need a fair bit of run-up to get this to work, but it makes sense to me to try this out somewhere that isn't going to kill me if I fall in the water and then can't do what I think I can do. Um, roughly, where do I need to be? Fair bit further in this direction. Okay. And. And. I'll leave. Whoop! This is actually quite fun. Let's see if we can't get over here. We are losing a little bit of height, but not much. That was actually quite satisfying. Won't be over there next. Whoop! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Malro. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but that was ridiculously funny to see. Uh, Abak is a terrible friend. I would be lying if I didn't uh, admit that eh, there's a part of me that was kind of hopeful you'd fall off again. Um. Oh no, I've gone a little bit too far now. Okay. Whoop. Whoosh. We need to gain more height. We're gonna have to ditch the ballast, indeed. Donk. Okay. All right then. Okay, you coming? Whoop. Looks like we can land around there. This is the first one that we encountered, so it's the first one I want to go see. Oh, then. What are we going to find over here? Uh, this is regular soil. This is actual dirt. That's very good to see. Uh, water. I'm sinking it. A lot of pinkish glow at the moment. Yeah. 
Ooh. A vow. Uh, I took a vow. I never go back on my word. I've a crisis strike up a conversation, but there's no response. Oh. Oh. Hmm. No, nothing in there. Uh, something about a pink plant or something. And then the other one was a yellow plant, wasn't it? Alright. These are probably part of the quest, I'm gonna guess. Oh-ho! I spy... Why didn't I... Something is around here somewhere. According to the map. Well, let's try and get back up. Is there a way for me to get up? I can't apparently deploy my uh, glider in here, unfortunately. And I don't think there's going to be an easy way up. Unless... Can I... Oh, haha! Hello. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, let's have a look at these. Uh, no, wrong thing. Items. Or oh, inventory, I guess. A seed that, with care, will grow into a pretty pink uh, cora, uh, cora lily. Okay, so that is the um, the pink flower that I was talking about. Okay. Oh, that did not help me as much as I was hoping. Oh. Come on, salmon. Channel my salmon powers. Ah! Oh, really? Cheating? <laughs> Almost. Oh, well. Uh, I could nerd pole, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. But I'd prefer to see if I can just climb up somehow. I prefer not to nerd poll if I don't have to. This is true pr pretty much any game in which nerd polling is a thing. Okay, I'm gonna need something a little bit better to jump up there. No, there isn't anything better though. So Nerd polling it is, I guess. Is it even still there? Yep. I'm in this direction. Okay. Is there a puzzle that I can see in here? It may be whatever the, the goo is dealing with down there. Because it does show it, but... Hard to see anything with this pink light all over the place. Apparently too far south now. Can I find anything over here? Maybe. Oh, this looks like an open area. Yep, 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 yep. We've got an open area. There we go. Water, I guess. And there we go. Excellent.
Yoink. Mini metal acquired. Um, and that soil looks like it's the sort of soil I can dig through. Anything else over here worth looking at? No, it looks like I've done everything there now. Um, ooh. Find the old tree. Find the old tree. We'll go and chat. Okay. Hello. Hello again, human. I hope you're alright. The air is thick and the sky is dark these days. It's been a long time since I've seen the ill wind get this bad. I wonder what could be behind it. I hope you two aren't going to tell me you're looking for the old deer tree, are you? Uh, as it happens. Well, if you are, it's east of here. Keep going until you reach the ocean. Then turn left. There's a rocky headland that's almost like a stone staircase. At the top, you should find a signpost, and that's about the closest you'll ever get to the deer tree. Unless you know how to fly, of course. There should be a fat rat at the base of the mountain. You can ask him for help. I hear he knows a lot about this sort of thing. Thank you. Should probably get more of these brambles, honestly. Yeah, I was actually quite impressed that the uh, orcs had a had a, like a boorish quality to them. It's not very common anymore. Uh, maybe I should do that and gobble down this. Try and take you out if I can. Ah, fantastic. Just take took him out with one hit. Well, I mean several hits actually, but you know, it was one in particular that killed him while he had a lot of health. If you climb up these muddy stairs behind me all the way to the top of this cliff, you can just about make out the remains of the old deer trees. But all you'll be able to do is look. You'll need to be able to fly to get closer to it. Of course, if you had a windbreaker, it'd be a different story. Then you could just jump off the cliff and press X to whip it out and glide over. <laughs> this poison needle is ridiculously OP, yes, I agree. The fact that it can kill really tough monsters is really surprising to me. Because being able to kill, you know, just uh, minion monsters, yeah, that seems normal. But uh, being able to take out really tough monsters, may the deity bring hope to the land, the hope that lies on the far horizon. I've a curious strange voice in his head. Ava, my child, come to me. Leapest thou from the cliff and unfold thy windbreaker with a single tap of eggs. This must be the ha headland Wrigley was talking about. So how about it, Avak? Shall we try using the windbreaker to fly on over there? We absolutely should. Whoop. Try not to pull on my ankle, so it hurts. Oh, there's a lot of standards on here. Oh my lord. Well. Humans? What are you doing skulking around here? Looking for the original deer tree, are you? Well, you're too late. It was destroyed by the brainy b bad boon himself in all his infinite wisdom. And that's not all. The primate turned your silly symbol of hope into the source of your suffering. Who makes the spore spores, you ask? The diseased, decrepit deer tree does. No way. So this is where the ill wind comes from? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is holy ground, humans. A place where the children of Argon to offer their thanks to the high priest. And now that you've seen our secret, I'm afraid we can't let you leave alive. Well, it happens. I've got a sword that will probably kill a lot of you. Here. Also, no. There we go. Okay. Nope. 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 I'm going to just try and take you out so you can't put me to sleep because that's awful in the fight. And one hit kill. I think that one was actually at full health when I killed him. Stop teleporting, you cheat. 
Okay then. Nah, uh, you know, you can do your thing while I run around. <laughs> and once again! Dead. <sighs> okay. Aha! Children of Hargon. More like jumps of Hargon. Still, I can't believe they turned the Deatry into some kind of spore spreading filth fountain. Are there any depths they won't stoop to? Huh? What's that creepy looking light? Well, that's exactly where I'm going right now. Just after I pick up all the box. Who art thou? Why dost thou approach me? I was once known as the Deatry. But alack. I imagine that. Oh, is alack a word or does that mean alas? My branches hath rotted away, and my heart filled with poison. Now the breeze that floweth from me bringeth naught but destruction. I know not who thou art, but thou cannot remain in this place. The danger is too great. Now and thy friends seek to create a new deity to rid this land of its corruption. Very well. Should this be thy wish, thou first must need destroy me. Needs destroy me. The black rotten wood that thou seest above thee was once my mighty trunk. Amid this withered husk, some small scraps of my holy heart would yet remain. I bid thee take it and bring it to me. Righty-o. Fairly certain we uh, caught a glimpse of that at the top. There we go. Right, so... Pow-pow! There we go. The more hardwood, though, because if there is, I wouldn't mind collecting it. No, it doesn't look like it. Very well. Never again will I take fall damage, except when I eventually forget that I can do this and then, you know, leap off something. And I, ah, oh, well, I'm just gonna have to tank the fall damage, and the chat laughs at me. Never until then will I take fall damage. Thou hast done well. Thou hast destroyed me. Within the holy heart what thou hast gathered burneth what little remaineth of my life force. Only now may I finally die. The fair isle of Furrowfield is set on a course for destruction. The ill wind, wind that flowed from my corrupt, uh, corrupted form hath spread far and wide. I fear that my destruction alone cannot bring an end. To the evils that plague this land. But through my strength, through the power that still dwelleth within my heartwood, a new deity may be born. Hast thou the skill to accomplish this feat, young builder? Canst thou conceive of the form I once took, and the form I must needs to take once more? There is something else that thou wouldst do well to recall, young builder. Creation is born of destruction, but mourn not, for nothing can be built from nothing. I await the day when thou wilt build a new deity and return life and light to this fair isle. Thou hast my deepest thanks for destroying me. Donk. Aha! You've done it already, haven't you, Avak? You've designed a new deity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head back to the farm and get that bad boy built. Okay. Oh, my lord. My farm. 
How about cross out the deer tree? Level one blueprint. My farm! My poor beautiful farm! It shall be destroyed. Grassy earth, okay. Bark. Alright, that's a lot of bark. Softwood, hardwood, leaves, and wooden steps. Hmm. Be my neck. Is this what I think it is? Are you building us a new deer tree? I'm gonna try. Alex, do you really intend to build a new deer tree from scratch? Do you have any idea of the scale of the task you plan to undertake? Hmm. Hmm. Ha 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 This is where he turns evil. Brilliant, my boy. Simply brilliant. You plan to build a tree from a blueprint. The very thought of it. I've never heard a more ridiculous idea in all my life. And yet, the foolishness, nay, a foolhardiness, has reignited the fire of passion within my heart. Everyone, let's give this one more try. Let's build a new deer tree and make Furrowfield Farm flourish again. I agree. Alright. So... Rosie's right. We rebuilt the farm once and it, uh, and it all went up in smoke. But the dream ain't over yet. Yeah, and with Avak here, I bet the whole thing will be a piece of cake. We'll have a new deer tree in, like, no time. Oh, please don't. Not that again. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll make you proud, Pastor Al. Just you watch. All right, everyone. Let's build Furrowfield a new deer tree. Hurrah! Wow, Wiggly, your teeth are terrifying. Why does a worm need teeth like that? You only need kind of sharpen teeth like that if you're eating things that are made of meat. People are made of meat, Wiggly. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, Ara, just look at that great big blueprint. This new deer tree is going to be a real beauty. That seals it. My days as traveling, Wiggly, are over. I'll be staying here to help out and see this deer tree building business through to the end. That's if it has an end. Forgive me, Avak, but I cannot help but think that this blueprint isn't quite finished. Uh, yeah. Wait, I think I understand. This isn't the whole deer tree. It's just the bottom bit. You've split it up into three sections, right? What an excellent idea. Three small projects will be much easier to handle than one huge one. You know, Avak, I've learnt a lot from Pastoral. There's one thing he never taught me. He said there was a way to bestow the deer tree with even more power, but he never got around to telling me what it was. I'll have to go over my notes from my time under his tutelage. If I find anything out, I'll tell you right away. 